Hey guys, I got a new video for you today, and as you can see by the title, this is going to be a look at a couple of face covering options from Oakley. Now, I was at my local Oakley store today, and I saw that they were carrying these, so I decided to pick them up so I can show you the different models that are available, and also the different colors that they come in. Now, in this day and age, face coverings are definitely uh, something that everybody uh, uses, uh, especially a lot of businesses require that you use a face covering if you want to come inside. Um, so I want to start off the video by saying that this is not me promoting the use or not the use of face coverings. This is just mainly informational. Um, this is, I saw them at the store, I picked them up and I want to show them to you guys so you guys can see what they look like in case you are interested. I know there's a lot of businesses that are promoting face masks, so their own with brands and logos and things like that. So, uh, obviously it was inevitable to see Oakley kind of jump on that bandwagon as well. I myself, as you know by my channel, I love Oakley. So, um, you know, this is, it's a little bit of an impulse buy for me, but also mainly informational so I can show it to you guys. In case you guys are interested, you can see what it looks like and what they're all about. So there's actually three different models here in the three colors that they have available or they had available at my local Oakley store. Um, and they do come in different sizes, so I'll speak about that in a, in a bit. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first one up here. Um, so again, these are face coverings. Um, these are not masks or face masks or anything like that. So I want to make that clear. Um, and the packaging is pretty much the same for all three of them. Um, so in the back, it just gives you a little bit of information on the top right there as far as what it is. But I wanted to go ahead and bring this um, right here. So it's just a little bit of a statement that they have on the back. Uh, you guys can go ahead and pause and read that. And it's just basically telling you that this is not a face mask. This is not intended for uh, protection, specifically for virus protection and things like that. So obviously the difference between a face mask and a face covering is protection versus just covering your face, which is what a lot of businesses require. It's just for you to, to cover your face if you go in there. So um, this particular one, I'll show you in the top there, is a cloth face covering fitted. Um, and again, this one is in the color universal blue. So um, this one, and you'll see by the picture there, it kind of looks like a standard face covering. It's made to resemble a, a mask, but it, again, it's not a mask. And this particular one is in a size large, extra large. So as with a lot of Oakley accessories, um, especially the ones you wear, normally they'll either come in small, medium, or large, extra large. I noted that the mat of the, again, the face coverings came in those particular sizes as well. So small, medium, large, extra large. So again, depending on the frame of your face, you know, obviously you'd want to make that choice. So we go ahead and open up the box here so you guys can see it. And all right, so here it is. It just kind of comes wrapped around this cardboard here and we'll slide these little clips off and then we'll take it off. So here it is. So this particular face covering is designed to go over the back of your neck and the back of your head. And that's one of the things that I liked about it is because I'm used to wearing either face coverings or face masks that loop around your ears. And after wearing them for some time, those can become a little cumbersome or a little annoying, especially at the top of your ears. So I like the fact that this loops um, behind your head and then behind your neck here as well. Now, um, it's very stretchy, which is really nice. So, uh, so it'll basically conform to your face. And as you can see, it's kind of flat at the bottom here and then it kind of swoops up right there. This is the area that will go over your nose and around and stuff like that. It's very form fitting, which I did note. So um, it, made it, it made it really, really comfortable. Uh, again, this particular color is called, uh, what was it, Universal Blue. So it's uh, like a very dark navy blue color. And then you have the area right here, which is where um, you know, underneath your nose and your mouth will go, your chin right down here. So I like the, that attention to detail that it did, the kind of stitching there. You do have the icon um, kind of embossed on the bottom part there. And then you have this little reflective tab there. Uh, one thing I didn't like was this huge, huge tag that they put on the inside of the uh, face covering here. But I think uh, Oakley is obviously expecting most people to kind of cut this off to the point that they actually added a little bit extra fabric right here. So I noted that um, you know, when you cut it right here, it, it actually you can remove it and you don't have to worry about, um, you know, cutting into the actual fabric or into any of the uh, thread or anything like that. So um, obviously that was some forethought into um, on Oakley's part. So um, one thing that I did want to show you is the actual makeup of the face covering here. I'm kind of going through the little tag here. So there it is. The main fabric makeup is 91% polyester. 
9% elastin. So uh, again, makes it very, very um, stretchy. And uh, the same thing with the straps here. Now the straps are joined in the middle here and they're uh, double stitched. So, um, you know, I guess they did that more for reinforcement. Uh, in other words, you don't have them, you know, attached at the end here where, you know, if you're constantly pulling, then they might come loose or something like that. They're actually attached to the back here and that goes for both of them. So that is the, the first one there. Uh, again, that is the um, cloth face covering fitted. So I'll set that one off to the side and then we'll take a look at the next one here. Uh, again, very similar box here, but as you can see, uh, the design is a little bit different. So this one is the neck gator, all right? And this is the blackout color. Again, large, extra large. Go ahead and open this one so you can see it. Now, this is gonna be um, a little bit more of what you would see like, uh, like people that go fishing would wear. So basically, it's just a large piece of fabric here. And you slide it uh, over your head and then down onto your neck. It's pretty large here, as you guys can see there. Very, very soft material, which is really nice, nice and stretchy. Uh, you do have the logo right at the top there. And then you slide this on all the way down to your neck and then you bring it up to um, kind of cover your nose and mouth. So uh, you guys can see right there. So it'll go right over your nose and cover your mouth. Now, uh, stay tuned at the end of the video. I'll go ahead and show you guys how these look when somebody's wearing them. Uh, again, on the inside, you do have the large um, tag right here, but it is on the uh, extra piece of fabric here. So when you go to cut it, you're not gonna have to worry about cutting the actual fabric itself or into the threads. And the makeup of this one is 100% uh, polyester. So again, um, that's the main difference. Uh, it, it is a little bit stretchy, but not as much as the um, the other one, the first one that I showed you guys there, uh, just because of the actual makeup of the fabric. So just keep that in mind. But again, this one is uh, in the blackout color. So um, again, I purchased the ones that were available at my local store, but I'm going to assume that the majority of them are, will come in all the different colors. So again, it's an assumption, but you can go ahead and look into that. And then this is the last one. Uh, again, as you guys can see, this one is a little bit larger. Uh, again, still in large, extra large. And this one is the cloth face covering loose. And this particular color is called New Dark Brush. So uh, we'll open this one up, take a look at it. Again, it has the uh, little clips kind of holding it onto that cardboard. So we'll take those off and then there it is. So this particular one has more of that design of how you're gonna be wearing it already kind of sewn that way. So it, it kind of sweeps up like that. So the front of it, of it will be right here. So this is where your nose and your mouth will go. And then it's designed to kind of slide and sit on the top of your head right there. So you will slide this on over your head and then it would that's the way that it would sit. And then you do have the logo right there. So you have the icon and then Oakley, and then the other side. And then you do have a, a little reflective tab right there, uh, stretchy as well. And just like the other ones, you have that large tag that's on the extra piece of fabric. So when you cut it, it's not going to get in the way. And the this one is 100% polyester as well. So again, you are going to get some, um, some stretchiness to it, but um, not as much as the first one that I showed you there based on the actual makeup of the fabric itself. So let me go ahead and turn the camera on. I'll slide these on so you guys can see what they look like. All right guys, so let's go ahead and try these on so you can see what they look like. We're gonna start with the cloth face covering. This is the fitted one. So it's the first one that I showed you at the beginning of the video. And this is in the universal blue color. I'm just uh, looking at the notes down there. So uh, again, here it is. This is designed to kind of go over your head. So first thing you wanna do is just slide the bottom strap there. So what's really cool about this is that when you're not wearing a top one, if you have to take off your mask for some reason or something like that, maybe you get in your car, but you're going somewhere else, you don't want to take them completely off. I found that I can just leave it like this and uh, it almost you know, feels like a bib, but it's there. You don't have to worry about setting it down and forgetting it. And then when you go to use it, all you have to do is bring it up. And there it is. Uh, hopefully you're able to hear me. Uh, as you guys can see, it's a very fit it fit on it but it's very very comfortable i can tell you that again if you are used to wearing the other type of face coverings or masks that loop around your ears you're not going to have to worry about that with this because again it's looping on the top of your head and on the back of your neck so nothing in behind the ears uh it's 
pretty easy to breathe through this, which is good. Uh, but again, it's doing the, the job that it's supposed to be, which is basically covering your face. So again, this is the first one, the cloth face covering fitted. So it is a fitted um, feel to the actual uh, face covering here. So I'll take that one off. Again, just uh, take it off like that and slide it off. And we'll take a look at the next one. Now, um, just uh, to show you guys, I did go ahead and cut off the tag already. So basically this is what it looks like. So you guys can see it's still a little piece of fabric there. All you have to do is stretch it and then just cut across with a knife or a pair of scissors or something and the whole thing comes off and there's no damage to the actual face covering. So that's really good. All right, the next one is gonna be the neck gaiter. And then this is, again, in the blackout color. So, um, you do have that little reflective tab that the other ones had there. So basically what I'm looking for is wherever the logo is. So you see the logo right there. So that's going to be the top. And um, all you do is go ahead and slide this on over your head. So now it's uh, you can wear it around. It's almost like, uh, like wearing a scarf. And then when you need it, all you have to do is bring it up. All right, and there you go. So this is uh, another type of face covering. You know, I kind of, you know, have it sit over my ears, it goes over my nose, my mouth, it covers everything. Now, one thing that I don't really like about this particular one is that the top elastic portion right here or the top portion is not so tight. And as I talk and move and stuff like that, it tends to want to start to kind of slide down. Again, this is a neck gaiter. It's designed to kind of go around your neck, but you can easily manipulate this. Uh, so if you need to bring it up a little higher, you can go ahead and do that. Um, now it's almost gonna have the same look as the third one that I'm gonna show you, but you can go ahead and do that too. Or the other thing that you can do, which um, with the excess right here is kind of bring it over and you can wear it this way. So again, this one has a little bit more options. So you can wear it this way. That way it's not gonna slide down. It's giving you all the protection basically all the way around, which is really nice also. So go ahead and take that one off. All right, set that one off to the side. And then last but not least, again, it's the face, um, the what is it, the cloth face covering loose. And this one is in the new dark brush color. So again, um, it's kind of designed to sit this particular way. There's the logo. So just slide it on over your head. All right, and there you go. Now this one is actually gonna be a little bit more comfortable than the neck gator because you already have that kind of cut so you don't have to worry about you know, fixing it or anything like that. But it's not so tight that it's gonna start um, coming down like the neck gator did. The neck gator is more designed to kind of stay around your neck. You can bring it up if you need to, but even then, see it's still a little loose here because obviously this one is more loose. So as I talk, I kind of find that it's sliding down a little bit. Uh, down my nose, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to continuously um, keep on uh, arranging it or adjusting it, I should say. So um, I think out of the three, I would probably go with the first one. It's just the easiest one to wear. But again, depending on your particular usage or something like that. So there it is. that's the, uh, the third one there. Now, I did want to talk a little bit about pricing. Um, that way you are aware. As you know, um, it's it's a branded product. It's an Oakley branded product, so there is going to be a little bit of a premium price to them. The um, the loose face covering here is fifteen dollars. The same thing with the neck gaiter. Uh, the neck gaiter here, the second one that I wore, is also fifteen dollars. All right, and then the fitted face covering, which is the first one, uh, it's going to be twenty dollars. So you're looking at twenty dollars for the first one, and then fifteen and fifteen a piece for the other ones. Again, um, you know, for what it is, what you're getting, a uh, branded product, you know, obviously you make the choice if, if that's too much or, or if that's just fine. Uh, in this day and age, I know a lot of people are, a lot of companies are putting out these, these face coverings with logos and things like that. So you can obviously do your research and see. What's really good about these is that you can always just throw them in the wash and wash them and reuse them. Um, and in comparison to some of the face masks or some of the other face coverings, they are pretty comfortable, which is what I found. And that's why I, I kind of started wearing um, primarily this one here. Like I said, I, I wanted to put out this video more of an informational uh, in case you 
you guys are looking for something like that or you come across it, you can't try it on at the store, you don't know what it looks like because it's sealed in that package. So if you come across it or if you're looking for it, now you know what it looks like and um, what to expect. So there it is, just a quick look at the uh, offerings from Oakley in, uh, in the way of face coverings. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.